One of the great secrets in life to becoming successful, whether it's in a business, whether it's working with someone or for someone or in your own personal life, and I learned this selling encyclopedias door to door in my early 20s, is be prepared in life for a lot of rejection. Because if you're prepared for a lot of rejection and it comes, you don't get turned off, you don't get disappointed, like, well, I'm not gonna do this anymore, no one thinks it's a good idea. Knock on 100 doors, they slam them in your face. You must be just as enthusiastic on door number 101 as door number one. This is John Paul DeJoria, and this is the incredible story of how he turned a $700 loan into $2.8 billion. In high school, John was voted least likely to succeed, and for good reason. His parents divorced when he was just two years old, he grew up in foster care, he was part of a biker gang, and teachers in school thought he was a complete failure. With a bad reputation and below average grades, John decided to skip college and serve in the Navy instead. This changed his life for the better, and after being honorably discharged two years later, John got a job selling encyclopedias door to door, got married, and had a baby. From the outside looking in, everything seemed to be in perfect order. However, the truth was, his life was on the brink of falling apart. His job was purely commission based, which meant that if he didn't sell books, he didn't make any money. And unfortunately, he was soon fired and his wife decided she no longer wanted to be with him. My wife was coming down the stairs and she said, I'm going to the store, she took the keys. By the time I got through the door, I saw my little boy, two and a half years old, kind of just sitting there on top of a pile of clothes with a note that basically said, I can't handle being a mom anymore. He'll be much better off with you. Good luck. Little did John know, she had been stealing the rent money and not paying the bills. So within just a few days, he and his two-year-old son were evicted from their apartment. With no job and no place to stay, he found himself living out of a friend's car and turning in empty soda cans to make ends meet. Now, John eventually landed another job selling shampoo and within just two years, became national manager of two divisions. But even though the teams he managed were successful, he was fired once again for complaining to the company's executives about their product testing on animals. It was around the same time that an old friend named Paul Mitchell was developing a high quality shampoo formula that was free from animal testing and harsh chemicals. Paul was a very well experienced hairstylist, but lacked the business experience that John had. So they decided to go into business together and formed the Paul Mitchell Systems Company. John secured a $500,000 investment and the two set out to revolutionize the beauty industry. However, on the same day the funds were supposed to arrive, John filed for a divorce from his second wife, transferred all of his assets to her, only to find out that the investor had last minute doubts. With inflation soaring over 12% in the US and the economy in trouble, the investor lost faith in John and Paul's idea and backed out. Once again, John found himself homeless and living out of his car. Instead of giving up though, both friends decided to pursue their idea anyway, raised $700 from friends and family, scaled back their strategy, and created a simple black and white bottle because they couldn't afford colored ink. The design stuck and John convinced salons to try out their shampoo by offering a money back satisfaction guarantee. Although they barely got by for the next two years, sales skyrocketed by year three and the company went on to do a billion dollars in revenue. Building on this success, John applied the same blueprint of offering high quality shampoo to launch Patron Tequila. The brand quickly got the reputation for being the best tequila around, and in 2018, he sold it for $5.1 billion, shooting his personal net worth to $2.8 billion. Now, instead of splurging on fancy cars or big mansions, John wrote a $50 million check to start the Peace, Love, and Happiness Foundation. He has given away millions of dollars to help fight homelessness and continues to inspire others through his philanthropic work. His best advice, make sure that whatever you're selling is so good that people will want to reorder it over and over again. And once you find success, pay it forward because success unshared is ultimately a failure.